Hello, I'm Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. In this video, I want to talk about a brand new subject that Microsoft has added to their exams. Now, I know for a fact, specifically, exam 7412 covers this topic, but I'm not exactly sure if 410 and 411 also don't cover it. So I wanted to go out of the way to make a video because you will not find this in the book. This is a brand new thing that Microsoft has released. And what I'm talking about is Windows Azure. Now, what that is, is it is a new backup system that Microsoft has released so that you can back up your servers to the Microsoft Cloud. So I wanted to put together a quick video to give you some of the information about this so that before you go in and take the exam, you'll have an understanding about this product. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the information. So we're gonna be talking about using Windows Azure for backups and recovery. And again, this is brand new in the Microsoft, uh, on the Microsoft exams. Azure is a multi-system service that allows you to back up your data to an off-site cloud location or you can even back it up to a location within your own site by using this software. Now, again, it is a cloud-based subscription that Microsoft has released so that you can back up your different Windows products onto the Microsoft Cloud. Now, the real question is, who supports Azure? Well, pretty much any operating system from Windows 7, as long as it has the latest service packs, now are supported by Azure. Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows Server 2012, and again, you have to make sure you have the latest service packs. Windows Service 2012 R2, Windows Server 2008 R2, and Windows Server 2008. Again, as long as you have the proper service packs to go along with it. And as you can see here in this slide, it shows you, for example, Windows 10. You can use Azure to back up not only their enterprise and pro version, but you can also do your home version. So Microsoft is moving into the market where they're gonna allow your everyday users to also use the cloud-based system to back up their home computers. Now, if you want to back up your different workloads, for example, you wanna back up files and folders, you have to load the Azure backup agent onto the Windows server or clients. You can also use System Center to do this. Now, if you want to back up your Hyper-V virtual machines, you have to use System Center. If you want to back up SQL, SharePoint, or Exchange to Windows Azure, again, you have to use System Center. So this is a really good slide because it shows you what you need to be putting on either the server or the client so that you can use this application for backups. Now, I have heard that on the exam, they do ask you about putting the Windows agent, the Azure backup agent onto a server. So make sure you understand how that process is done. Now, here's some information as of August, 2015, what the current maximum sizes are that you can back up using Azure. For example, if you're using Windows Server 2012 or above, you can back up 54,400 gigabytes. Windows 8 and above, same, 54,400 gigabytes. If you're using anything before Windows 7, or Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2, you only have a 1700 gigabyte maximum. Now, before you go and take the exam, please make sure that you go out and check to see if these numbers have changed. Now, I wanted to include some facts so that you understand how this works. 
when you actually have a subscription, you can create up to 25 volts. Now, a vault is where you're actually going to be storing your data. And administrators can have up to 50 machines per vault. So if you think about that, you have 50 machines per vault. You can have 25 volts per, per, script, uh, per subscription. So that is a lot of users that you can back up by using Windows Azure. You have to make sure that your firewall is in compliance. The following URLs have to be opened up. So I've listed them for you. MSFTNCSI, Microsoft.com, WindowsAzure.com, MicrosoftOnline.com, and Windows.net. These all need to have uh, firewall exceptions put in so that the backups will work properly. Some other things that it's good to know, by using Azure backups, you can do three backup copies per day through either the Windows Server and Client, and two by using the System Center. As of April 2015, you can have up to 366 recovery points. So if you are one of those people that like to have recovery points and then put those recovery points to the cloud, as of right now, you can have 366. Again, Make sure you check those numbers before you go and take the exam. And there's no limit on the number of recoveries that you can actually have. Now, another thing that you have to be sure that you understand, because from what I heard they are asking on the exam, is Microsoft also uses PowerShell. So here I've just thrown up some general PowerShell commandlets for Azure on how to manage your subscription. So here it's get-msol subscription. This actually returns all of your subscriptions that your company's purchased. Then you have the get-msol account SKU. This will return your SKU that the company owns. New-msol license options. This will actually show you new license option plans and set MSOL user license. This commandlet is used to adjust the licenses for each user. This can be adding a new license, removing a license for any user that needs to back up their data to Azure. Now, for more information, you want to make sure that you contact Microsoft and you go out to https://azure.microsoft.com slash en slash us if you're in the United States. Now, I have that page actually up and running right now, so I'm going to take you out to it real quick so I can show you the page. While you're out on this page, you can get all kinds of information. You can actually find out what it is, some of the actual, you know, facts about the products. Here it can actually show you some of the different things that you can actually back up. They have documentation that you can grab so that you can find out all of the facts that you need. Here's your pricing so that you can get pricing for, dis uh, for your different subscription plans. Then they have your downloads. Now the downloads, you're going to need this, especially if you're going to be downloading the clients for the server, the Azure client, for the server and your Windows client operating systems. Now, again, they give you this server. You can try this server for free. They do have a free built-in period where you can try this. So right here, you can actually even do a free trial. But if you want to, you can go out to this website and get different details about this backup option. I wanted to make sure that before you go and take your exam that you understand what Windows Azure can do for you because they are asking this now this is a new product released by Microsoft they are asking about this on the actual Microsoft exams now if you bought my MCSA uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 complete study guide you won't find anything in the book on this subject because at the time the book was written this wasn't out yet 
as we do our next update, we'll make sure that we obviously get this into our next copy of the book. But I wanted to make sure that I put a video out here on the website so that everybody understands what this product is and what it can be used for. Please, before you take any of your Microsoft exams, before you go in and take your Windows 8, Windows 10, 2000, uh, the uh, 70, 410, 411, or 412 exams, or again, even 413 and 414, make sure you do some research on this product so that you're properly prepared in case they ask you exam questions. I am Cybex author and Stormwind instructor, William Panic. Thanks for watching the video. Continue to monitor my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash William Panic, and I'll continue to post videos on different subjects to help you out. Thanks for watching.